Wilhelm von Tegetloff was an Austrian admiral, considered one of the prominent naval commanders of the 19th century. Tegetloff was known for his innovative tactics as well as his inspirational leadership. Early life and career Tegetloff was born in Marburg, Styria in Austrian Empire, on 23 December 1827 the son of Karl von Tegetloff, an Oberstleutnant in the Austrian army. On his mother's side he was related to Johann Kasper Freier von Say, mayor of Vienna from 1851 to 1861. Entering the Marin Ecclegium in Venice in 1840, Tegetloff became a sea cadet on 23 July 1845 and witnessed the Venetian uprising in 1848-49. He received a commission upon his graduation on 16 April 1849 and took part in the blockade of Venice from May to August 1849. Tegetloff was promoted to Fregattenlieutenant on 16 June 1851 and Linienschiffslieutenant on 16 November 1852. Tegetloff received his first command, the naval schooner Elizabeth, in 1854. This was at the time of the Austrian Navy's intensive conversion to steam power, of which he was an earnest advocate. In 1855 he was appointed commander of the paddle steamer Taurus, patrolling the Salina mouth of the Danube during the Crimean War. This service brought to him to the favourable notice of Archduke Ferdinand Maximilian of Austria, the Oberkommandant der Marine, with whom he had been acquainted since 1850. Promoted to Corvitain Capitan in 1857, Tegetloff served on a semi-official scientific expedition to the Red Sea, having shown exceptional diplomatic and organizational ability. In December 1857 he was appointed a staff officer. He was named commander in 1858 of the new screw corvette Hertz Herzog Friedrich on the coast of Morocco, then in a confused state of disorder. The Italian campaign of 1859 saw the Austrians unable to challenge the French fleet for mastery of the Adriatic. With the return of peace, Tegetloff accompanied Ferdinand Maximilian on a voyage to Brazil to visit Emperor Pedro II during the winter of 1859-60. Promoted Frigate and Capitan on 27 April 1860 and Linienschiffs Capitan on 23 November 1861, he was named commander of the Levant Squadron in 1862. In this capacity, he monitored the Greek Revolution that deposed King Otto I and the anti-Western disturbances in Syria, the German-Danish War and the Seven Weeks War. During the Second Schleswig War, Tegetloff as a commodore was given command, in February 1864, of a small Austrian squadron that sailed to the North Sea to support the very weak Prussian naval forces against the superior Danish navy which was blockading northern German ports. He was engaged by a Danish squadron commanded by Edouard Suenson at the Battle of Heligoland, in which Tegetloff's flagship, the screw frigate Schwarzenberg, caught fire in a close-range gunnery fight with the Danish frigates Niels Duell and Gilland. Although the action was a tactical defeat for Tegetloff, he achieved his main objective, since the Danish squadron was shortly thereafter recalled to Copenhagen, lifting the blockade of the Elbe and Wesser ports. Tegetloff's telegraphic dispatch was answered by Emperor Franz Joseph I with another on 12 May 1864 promoting him Kotri Admiral and conferring upon him the Order of the Iron Crown. Tegetloff was appointed commander of the Austrian battle fleet on 9 May 1866, shortly before the war against Italy. Although the Italian fleet was larger and more powerful, Tegetloff decided to engage it after a successful reconnaissance of the Italian base of Ancona on 27 June 1866. With their army suffering defeats against the Austrians during the first week of the war from 20 to 27 June 1866, the Italians sought a victory over the Austrian navy by sending their fleet against the Austrian naval base at Lissa, off the coast of Dalmatia near Spalata on 16 July 1866. 
encountering the Italian fleet early on the morning of 20 July 1866, Tegetthoff sailed straight for the centre of the Italian fleet, hoping to ram the ships to make up for his own fleet's lack of firepower. The smoke from the Italian ships made visibility very poor, however, and the Austrians missed the Italian fleet completely. Swinging around, Tegetthoff again charged, this time setting two Italian armoured ships on fire and damaging several more. After Tegetthoff's flagship, the Erzherzog Ferdinand Max, rammed and sank the armoured Italian frigate Ridi Italia. The Italian fleet retreated the next day. Tegetthoff returned in triumph to his base at Pola. Nevertheless, his victory did not materially affect the outcome of the war, as Italy's alliance with Prussia ensured an advantageous peace. Tegetthoff was immediately promoted by telegraph to Vizi Admiral. He received congratulatory telegrams from Ferdinand Maximilian, by then the embattled Emperor of Mexico, and Vizi Admiral Hans Birch Dahler up, former Obercommandant der Marine. Tegetthoff was decorated with the Commander's Cross of the Military Order of Maria Theresa and made honorary citizen of Vienna. Following the victory of Lissa in the although lost Austro-Prussian War, Tegetthoff urged Franz Joseph to annex the hinterland of the Dalmatian coast, so as to protect the region for development of naval bases. This was in fact accomplished with the occupation and annexation of Bosnia and Herzegovina, though long after Tegetthoff's death. Tegetthoff undertook a journey of study to France, Britain and the United States in 1866-67. Upon the execution of Ferdinand Maximilian by the Mexican government of Benito Juarez, Tegetthoff was sent with the screw frigate Navarra to bring his body home to Austria, arriving in the port of Trieste on 16 January 1868. Late Years he received the post of Marana Commandant, as the Chief Administrative Officer was named in 1865 in succession of Vice Admiral Ludwig von Forts. In March 1868 Tegetthoff took also charge as Chef der Marinesation of the War Ministry of the New Dual Monarchy. Despite considerable resistance from the General Staff, he vigorously pursued a complete reform of the Austro-Hungarian navy. His reforms remained in force until the fall of the Donner monarchy in 1918. On 1 April 1868 Tegetthoff was made a Geheimrat and a member of the Herrenhaus. Tegetthoff died suddenly from pneumonia on 7 April 1871 in Vienna at the age of 43. His grave is located in the cemetery of St. Leonhard in Graz. He was succeeded as head of the naval administration by Friedrich von Pock. Memorials Memorials to Tegetthoff were erected in Vienna and Pola. The monument on Vienna's Pratistan, the largest traffic junction of the city, consists of a column 11 meters high, topped by a bronze statue of Tegetthoff, some 3.5 meters in height, by Karl Kundmann and was finished in 1886. The Memorial at Pola, also by Kundmann, was erected in 1877 and consists of a bronze statue of Tegetthoff, with supporting bronze mythological figures. Pola passed to Italian sovereignty in 1919, and in 1935 the monument was moved to Graz, Austria. Tegetthoff was pictured on an Austrian postage stamp in 1935 and on a 20-euro coin minted in 2004. Ships named for Tegetthoff included the Arctic research ship SMS Tegetthoff, the central battery ship SMS Tegetthoff, renamed SMS Mars in 1912, the dreadnought battleship SMS Tegetthoff. Of these, the first was used in the 1872-74 Arctic expedition of Julius von Peyer and Karl Weyprecht which discovered Franz Joseph Land in 1873. The expedition's first discovery was named Cape Tegetthoff. Literature, German Wikipedia entry, Wilhelm von Tegetthoff, de, Wilhelm von Tegetthoff, Joan Haslip, The Crown of Mexico, New York, Holt, Reinhardt and Winston, 1971, Alan Palmer, Twilight of the Habsburgs, The Life and Times of the Emperor Francis Joseph, 
New York, Grove Press, 1994, ISBN 0-87113-665-1. George Richard Marek, The Eagles Die, Franz Joseph, Elizabeth and Their Austria, New York, Harper and Rowe, 1974, Anthony Sokol, The Imperial and Royal Austro-Hungarian Navy, Annapolis, U.S., Naval Institute, 1968, Klaus Müller, Tegetlof Marsch in die Nordsee, Oeversee, Doppler Schanzen, Helgoland im Deutsch-Dänischen Krieg, Verlag Styria, Graz, 1991, ISBN 3-222-12007-2, Christian Ortner. Der Siegkrieg in der Adria 1866, in Very Biz Unitas, Jarez Beric 2010 Des Heeres Geschicht like and Museums, Wien 2011, 100-124, ISBN 9783-902551-19-1, Ulrich Skondorfer, Wilhelm von Tegetloff, Bergland Verlag, Wien 1958. Peter Handel Mazzetti, Hans Hugo Sokol, Wilhelm von Tegetthoff, Ein Grosser Osterreicher, Oerlandes Verlag, Linz 1952, Carpi Tell 7, Wilhelm von Tegetthoff, in, Wilhelm Wolf's Last, Helden der C, Band 1, Entdecker und Admiral, Berlin 1944, 102 to 117. Helmut Neuhold, Osterreich's Helden zur C. S. 108 to 139. Styria Verlag Wien Graz Klagen 4 2010. ISBN 9783-222-13306-0. Agnes Husserlein, Anton Romico, Tegetloff in der C. Schlocht B. E. E. Eilisse. Catalogue zur Osterlung in der Osterichischen Galerie Belvedere, Wien 2010, ISBN 9783-901508-790, Helmut, Wilhelm von Tegetloff, Admiral of the Unexpected, in the Great Admirals, Command at Sea, 1587-1945, edited by Jack Sweetman, Annapolis. Naval Institute Press, 1997, ISBN 0-87021-229-X.